I'm, I changed a lot of things in my life since, uh, since I came back from St. James's Way last year. So starting October, many things changed in my life. And but if I had to change something, maybe I would be crazier than I actually am, and not do more crazy things. Friendship, and I mean true friendship, means a lot to me. Thankfully, I have very good friends, not a lot, but very good friends, and I consider them as my siblings, siblings from the heart, and they mean a lot to me, and I like to support them as they support me in all aspects of my life. Love and affection, these are kind of my little monsters because I love easily and I love hard and that's not good because balance is good in all areas of your life. You can't love yourself more than you love others as well. You can't love others more than you love yourself. So I have to work on that balance and sometimes it's very tough for me because as I said, uh, my heart is kind of wild. It doesn't obey very much, though. Uh, I have learned how to deal with it, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't hurt me as in the past anymore. When we talk about family, I need to separate two parts of my family. My parents migrated to Brazil when they got married, so when I was a child, my closest family were my parents and my sister. And yeah, we were always very warm, we always cared much for each other, and the relationship we had was very close, it is still close nowadays. And with time, some uncles of mine migrated to Brazil too, but they, during my childhood, they lived in separate cities, so it was difficult to create a close relationship with them, especially those uh, of my relatives that live in Brazil, that live in Chile. I used it to see them each two or three years. So we didn't really create close bonds as I have with my parents and my sister, though I love them very much. Relationship with my mother. To start, I love my mother. She means a lot to me, but uh, three years ago I went through therapy and I realized that my relationship with her was not very healthy, so I needed to work on that. So I can say now that I have a very good relationship with her because it got more mature, that's why. And now the third set of questions. I wish I had someone special to share my memories of travel and future travels because it's something I love and I would like to share this with my future partner. An embarrassing moment in my life. Okay, I was a preteen. I was around I don't know, nine or ten years old. And I went to participate in a camping with some kids from churches. One of the dinners was called Princesses and Princes Dinner. And they organized two lines at the door of the of the cafeteria. One line of the girls and one line of the boys. And then uh, the, the organizers made 
one boy have dinner with, with one girl on the line uh, in sequence. And when my turn came, the boy looked at me because I have always been a chubby person. I'm okay with that nowadays, but back in time, the, I suffered some bullying. I can't deny that. And that dinner in special was very embarrassing because the boy looked at me and said, I'm not going to have dinner with this fatty girl. Yeah, I suffered through many years with that. Luckily, I have overcame that, but it was really, really embarrassing. Uh, I can consider myself like a tough girl. I don't cry easily, especially in front of anybody. So, not that I haven't done that yet, uh, before, but I can't really remember when I cried in front of someone else. But by myself, I cried in the St. James's way because uh, it's an experience you can't help yourself but cry. I don't really laugh with jokes about physical or mental conditions because uh, as I suffered some bullying while growing up, I don't accept that. I don't think that making fun of mental difficulties some people have uh, is really fun because they suffer with that, you know, so I can't accept jokes like that. Maybe I would regret not telling a person I have in mind now that I really like him, that I miss him, talking to him, and but I don't know if I would do that and I haven't done that yet because life and men have taught me not to. Well, it would definitely be my cell phone. Obviously, no doubt about it. Ooh, that's a difficult question. I love all my close family, but, well, thinking about the times he's been to hospital and we got very worried about him, maybe my dad. Well, guys, I think this is it, okay? I try to be, uh, I truly poured my heart here. Um, <laughs> if some of you fall in love with me, <laughs> please let me know because then I would know if this, this questionnaire work. But if you are curious about if this works really with a partner, I will leave you the link for the for the article and for the questions and uh, uh, you will see the questions I didn't answer here because uh, I'm answering by myself all right I think this is it for today and I hope to see you on next week so kisses bye bye <laughs>